and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we are continuing on with the massive kitchen declutter that never seems to end. Anyway, we're gonna be going through some cupboards today. We're gonna to be getting rid of a lot of stuff because there's too much crap in this kitchen and I'm quite frankly sick of it. If you can hear crunching, Mr. Baby Supervisor is currently eating. There he is. So apologies for the crunches. Anyway, I'm not gonna waffle on. I don't need to explain to you what this is. We've been doing this for a few episodes now. We are continuing on. As always, if you enjoy the video, hit the like button down below. If you've been to my channel before, welcome back. I'm delighted to have you again. And if you are new to my channel, I wanna take this opportunity to welcome you. And please join our community if you are interested. I'm not gonna waffle on any further. So with it, without further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, so we're moving in here. Uh, if you guys seen, have seen my previous videos, you saw that I brought some stuff from the dining room in here and it was, it was a whole thing, it was a whole thing. So, this press, like, there's some nice stuff in it, but like, guys, I, apart from these plates here, this press doesn't get opened from one end of the year to the other. Like, literally, it doesn't. So I'm gonna go through and see if there's anything I can get rid of. I already spoke to my dad about it, he wants to keep all his stuff. He wants to keep these floral mugs as well, so that's fine. So I'm just gonna go through what's mine and get rid of it because, to be honest guys, I had sent sentimental attachments to a lot of stuff, I don't anymore. One thing I will say is, if you are someone who's decluttering, especially if you're someone who's starting and you're really struggling with it, it does get a lot easier. I can promise you that, it gets a hell of a lot easier as you go on. Um, but yeah, so, it's stuff that I kept in the past there, guys. I'm just gonna move you over a little bit, give you a better view. Mm, there we go. Um, it gets easier to go, practice makes perfect. It does improve as you go on. And um, anyway, I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna let that go. Uh, for any of you guys who know me, you know I absolutely adore. I love Audrey Hepburn, and this is such a cute little mug. But to be honest, guys, it's just sitting in here, and I don't use it. And I just, I'm trying not to keep stuff that isn't getting used because it's pointless, and it just gathers dust. And also, there's somebody out there who will love this as well. I love it as much as I did when I got it, and we'll use it all the time. We we'll use it every day. Uh, it's also ch uh, China, so you can't dishwash it. Um, like, which is fine, like, guys, I don't mind hand washing stuff, like, if I have to hand wash it, I'll hand wash it. Um, but, you know, also, hand washing wastes a lot of water, so. That's one of the reasons I like dishwashers. Dishwashers have a set amount of water that goes through them, like, it's a couple of litres. It's a lot more efficient than hand washing. And, you know, environmentally friendly. So I'm gonna let this go. Because, to be honest, guys, I'm holding here and I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, oh, it's really pretty, it's Audrey Hepburn, I adore her. But, like, I'm not feeling any kind of way. Like I felt more anxious with my coffee mugs than I do with this. Do you know what I mean? I'm like, they're coffee mugs, they're plastic. I don't really have any sentimental attachment to them, but I don't know why I really like my coffee mugs, but I'm gonna let this go. <laughs> um, I don't ever use the same thing, guys, it's hand wash. It's like, it's funny. I got it for free, it was a thing, a prize from KitKat. This like changes colour with the heat, but I don't use it. Now, this one is a harder one for me. Um, I don't know if I've talked about it on the channel before. I may or may not have. Anyway, we used to have a cat called Blackie. I know my original name. She was a black cat. She had a white chest. Um, she was adorable. She was the first kind of proper pet we had. And I was like, I don't know, 18 or 19, maybe 20 something when we got her. Um, but yeah, she just decided she was moving in when she lived with one of our neighbours and she decided that we were going to be her family. Um, anyway, I'm going to give a trigger warning here for anybody with unwell pets. So if it is something that triggers you, please skip ahead like two minutes. Um, she had epilepsy and then she ended up having a problem with her. We had her for many years and she was wonderful. And she was tiny. She was lovely. Uh, she ended up getting epi having epilepsy and then she went wandering and went missing for three days. And then they said there was a problem with her 
uh, thyroid and I had to put her on medication and that ended up damaging her kidneys and I had to get her put down and unfortunately um, my dad was away at the time and like I'm not going to delay for three days or two days because my dad was away so we unfortunately had to get her put down it was about a year six months through a year before we got Max so that she uh, was put down so a friend of mine got me this as a really nice gesture and I really appreciate it but it's just something that oh it's microwave and dishwash stuff and everything else. Um, but it's just something like I really do like it but I don't use it um, uh, she was a wonderful little cat and I absolutely loved her um, she was my little baby but uh, to be honest it was incredibly traumatic um, time for me um, yeah it was really traumatic time and when they put her down the first time they gave injection it didn't work so they had to do it again and I was on my own um, like I had my best friend with me which was great but and I, she knows to this day I really appreciate her being there but I felt very long when it happened um, and it's traumatic and I have lots of pictures of her and I have videos of her and I don't need to keep this mug because to be honest when I see it a lot of the time it does upset me so I'm gonna let this go and that was a very long and winding story and I thought it was and I'm sorry to bring the tone of the room to, but I'm gonna let that go um, then we have these mugs here from my auntie got us these there's one for me, my dad and my brother if you're watching which you, probably, which you might be um, my auntie Mara got these for me they're so cool um, and again the only reason I don't use them very often is because they can't be dishwashed or microwaved um, but like they're so they're really cute, like, I love the gold she gets me, she knows I love a bit of sham of sparkle. But yeah, so we are keeping these. These were a gift. Uh, and we do actually really like them. They're really nice. It's just, um, I try to avoid using stuff that isn't dishwash safe again. Save the water. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the only one um, I think I'm gonna keep out of the sentimental thing. Oh, there's more stuff down here. So the whole point of this is I'm trying to make more room around the place. So, again, a lot, a lot of these are my dad's mine. Um, these are my, that's my dad's one. These two are my dad's. Um, these two mugs here are mugs that I bought for my man. Um, I'm not going to get into it, guys, but for sentimental reasons, we're going to keep these. Okay. I just want to make some room in here. And the whole kind of point of this is I want to try and bring some of the mugs in here, up here, because one of the reasons I think we don't use this press, apart from the fact that it's full of wine glasses and I don't drink and my dad barely drinks, um, is to just don't get used very often. But I want to get like mugs and stuff up here because this is a chaotic mess and nobody can get into it and use it and it's just silly. Because like when I want to get some, you have to pull out the stuff and then it's the first to fall out or it's a whole thing. Um, I also have a... I think it was back in the summer, probably. I told you guys it was a display I wanted to do in here, which involves these, which I can't do because there is no room. So yeah, I'm trying to kind of reorganize in that way so we can do that, but I might actually just stack these. Um, yeah, there's this little teapot here as well. I don't know if you guys have seen these, they're really cool. So it's like your teapot and your, your mug is in it. Very cute. I don't know if you got that from anything went on. But then, um, yeah, I'm just gonna stack these. Um, you see, this is the problem with these like print mugs a lot of the time that drives me demented. The handles are on different sides, so you can't line them up. Because I know a lot of mugs, the handles are on the right, so I can stack everything to the, you know what I mean, to the right it works, but this the handle is on the left. And then this one's on the right, and it's just. I know, silly things to be annoyed about. Hashtag first world problems. <laughs> But, um, no, I'm stack. I want to actually see if that's stable because I'm not stacking it stable. No, it's not. Okay, I can do two of these. Now, because what I want to do here is bring these, these mugs in. Uh, we had a coffee more in there. Sorry, we had a coffee more in there last month. 
for the Irish hospice and I have to say having the extra mugs was great but we had enough of the breasts so these really are only for like display if you will now I love and adore this mug it's from Ikea um, it was in the Delft section someone said to me oh that's for plants and it was in the Delft section with the other mugs um, I really like it. It's super cute. It's super like, it's just real cute. You know, it's just cute, okay? It's cute. Um, I don't use it as a mug though, but I don't know why I find this really hard to let go of. I'm gonna move to the side for a moment. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in that stuff from that display that I talked to you guys about before. And I'm gonna try and do that now. Okay guys, so some of you may remember from a recent video, an earlier video, this uh, basket here. So I'm going to do this now. Now, for now, I'm going to take these out. Uh, I think it's temporarily I'm going to put them up here. And I'll find a better place for them later. But for right now, I need the, I need the space. Now again, there's no guarantee this is going to work, but I want it to try it. teapot was a lot bigger than it is. I actually did. I thought it was a lot bigger than it is. Um, and this just seems like a huge, you know, a huge bit of space to take up. Let me try this. And for those of you who don't know what this is, this is Chip. And this is Pots from Beauty and the Beast. And if you were in Ireland a couple of years ago, these mugs, don't ask me why, but these mugs were like gold dust. You couldn't get them for love nor money. Um, they were in Primark pennies um, and they were so hard to get. So each time they come in, I bought them. So they obviously didn't want to buy like five of them. But you know, everyone's trying to get them. Uh, that's, that's, that's definitely going to fall over, so I'm going to put it over here. Um, I'm gonna be honest guys, this is very anticlimactic. This is very anticlimactic. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double up this press. So I'm gonna pop them there. My chip mugs, like they're very cute. Aren't they very cute guys? They're very cute. I need to give you guys a good look at them. So this is the teapot, Mrs. Potts. And by the way, yes, this is an actual teapot. This is a functional teapot. And then I have two different types of mugs. One of my friends got me these uh, because you couldn't get the mugs anywhere. She got me these as a present, which I love. They're so cute. These all these ones also are they're a good, good bit bigger than the Primark ones, as you can see. And these are the little Primark ones. They're very cute. I had four at one stage, and I don't know what happened to the fourth one. But anyway, oh, I do know what happened when I was moving. Um, a box got put on top. I think of this and one of them uh, cracked. So, and I don't, like it was like a hole right down the side, like you can't fix it kind of thing. Um, but yeah, well, that's, I was very excited about this guys. It's very anticlimactic, I must say. Right, what I am gonna do is I'm gonna move this over. There was a spoon for this at some stage and I don't know where it went. I probably decluttered it, not knowing what it was. I don't know where it's down in the, the, the drawer. Like, that's kind of fine. Like, we're not going to win any style awards for it, like, but, you know. Eh, does the job. Oh, actually. What I think I'll do is I'll move this teapot down here as well. No, hey. That's better. Yeah, that's better. I don't mind that. And we have these for reasons. And I'll just put it in here. 
Um, doo -doo. Now I'm going to reorganise this slightly. I think it is time for me to uh, recycle my iPod Nano. Do you remember when these came out? Ooh. Oh my god, this one's not focus. And they had the little camera. <laughs> anyway, and I'll wipe that and I'll recycle it. If I can even find a cable for it, I don't even know if we have the cable anymore. Um, okay. I do like this though. Go there. Hmm. Do you know what I might do actually? Put these back where they were. Because they were fine. Put my little cup here. And the little teapot there. Be honest, guys, I don't love that. Okay, the thing I will do is okay, don't love it, don't hate it, it's fine. Um to be honest, I don't want to spend any more time on this, to be frankly honest. Um, oh, I forgot about this. It's got a little money box as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, to be honest, guys, I got more as a display piece than anything else. Oh, and for the rapper for anyone who's interested, these, actually, these are actually back in Primark now, though. The um, Beauty and the Beast stuff. Is that done? That looks very done. That looks stupid. Okay. And I'll put that up. I'll probably put that in my room actually. Okay, well, the good news is we just got rid of a load of cardboard, uh, a load of packaging, and I get to empty this box. Finally. Months later. But yeah, let me see how it looks. Yeah, it's not bad. Again, we're not going to win design awards, but it's cute. It's like, it's different. It's a refresh. We're mixing it up a bit. I'm happy enough with it. Now, um, these folders are like, they're just, you can see there how much of the folder is actually being used. Um, like there's a lot of recipes in here for a lot of things that are really nice. Um, so this was a magazine you got. Uh, yeah, I don't even, I think they may have re-released it since, but you basically, yeah, all the stuff in it was like silicone molds. You got silicone molds each, each week and you got like recipes to match the mold you got. There was like cake pans and, you know, pie trays and that's basically the whole collection of stuff. Yeah, I don't even know if you guys can see that. Anyway, I have all this stuff upstairs in the attic. Um, but I haven't brought it down yet because number one, it's filthy dirty and I don't know where to put it, but I really would like to use it because silicone is dishwasher safe and oven safe and it's much easier to um, to use and it takes away less room. You can squish it all down, which is great. But obviously we've a lot of stuff. So um, yeah, you've probably seen that scales before in my, in the kitchen, it's underneath there. But anyway, I've kept this magazine for, oh, I'm gonna say 
10 years, 12 years, 15 years maybe. And I don't open it. I don't read it. I don't look. More than 400 recipes in the collection. Anyway, so I got up to like, I don't know, maybe 30 of the magazines. Um, a very kind friend of me actually subscribed, got me a subscription for this for my birthday. Um, but yeah, so, like, I don't open the magazine, so why the flip am I keeping? So I think what I'm gonna do, obviously I'm not gonna do it now on camera because it'll take a year, but like, basically, you get these little shtick things to hold the magazines in. They're just here. And like, guys, it's gonna take me a while to enter the tips. So just take it that I've done it, okay? When you're watching this video, I've already done it. Um, and then this stuff here is, this stuff here is my mom's, her recipes. Um, like for the Christmas cake, she used to make her own almond paste. She made her own royal icing, flooding. I don't even know what flooding is. But yeah, like she did like buy the stuff she made, like she made it all. Like my mom was amazing at like cooking. She made the cake, the pudding. There was none of this like buying a crap. It was literally cake, bake everything. Now I would be, you know, let's buy it because I don't know how to do that. Um, and yet we used to help out with cooking the cake and the, or baking the cake um, for Christmas every year and stuff. But um, I don't have those kind of skills guys, I gotta be honest with you. I probably could figure it out, oh my God. As it's Halloween guys, there is a poem I wrote called The Witch's Brew. I think I wrote that when I was about 10 in school. Maybe, no, it, it's typed, so I would have been about 12 maybe. Yeah, because we didn't get a computer until 2000. Do you remember the Millennium Bug, guys? Am I throwing you back there to the Millennium Bug? <laughs> My dad's were not getting until the Millennium passes. Um, we had a gateway, guys, do you remember gateway? Don't even know if they still exist. But yeah, wrote that poem. But yeah, anyway, these are all my mom's recipes. Oh, that's mine. Um, and some of them are my recipes, apparently. So I actually need to go through all these. Now, I'm probably gonna keep off some pineapple cake. Is that the one my mom used to make? I don't know. Oh, that's my granny's right, I think. I don't, I don't I have to look into that. Long story short, guys, because like I've waffled for 29 years. I need to go through these, see what we're gonna use, see what we're not gonna use, um, keep what we're gonna keep. Because some of this stuff I think is just tear it from magazines and they could, they're not even my mom's, they could be mine or my brother's or my dad's. I'm gonna go through them anyway, but we will be keeping a good bit of this and I will have to find a home for it. They may end up up here, and one of the reasons for that is my mom used to have a binder here, a clipboard just under here, the fridge, and the old, I don't know if it was this fridge or the previous fridge, but a clipboard and all the recipes used to get there. So I kind of want to keep them around this area. In case people are wondering why I shoved them in a random press, like up here, that's why, because that's where they've always been kept. Gone. Goodbye. See you later. Good luck. Peace. Um, I think we're probably gonna be keeping these. Um, I'm gonna ask my dad. For now, I'll pop them in here. Backward thing. No, I don't really wanna put them there. There's too much crap there. Do you know what? I'll put them in here. Oh, mother of God, I'm breaking the house. Yeah, that looks fine. Anyway, that took way longer. Way longer than it should have. But um, that's part of the thing as well that happens when you're decluttering and organizing. Some stuff is much faster, some stuff takes you three times longer. Anyway, as I mentioned to you guys, the corner press, like, um, let me show you real quick. Like, there's not much in here. There's dinner plates, pasta bowls, normal just side plates, um, bowls, mugs. There is not many mugs. We actually cut down the mugs a lot and we did need them for the, or so we did the coffee morning for the hospice. We did use most of them, the majority of them. So that press is fine. Um, I previously did that press. This one here. I also have some coffee up here. Actually, no, do you know I'm gonna do it now, guys. I'm gonna do it now. I'm always saying to you guys, why not now? So I'm gonna transfer these and bring you guys over. Over here yonder. These can go here, they're fine. Uh, and then I'll just pop them in there for the moment. They're fine like that. Sorry, I have to remember to bring you guys with me. 
I do forget that my camera just, just moves. But not be handy if your camera just followed you around. I'm painting that. I'm sure that probably already exists. Um, yeah, I did kind of compress this down a bit so I could put the coffees in, but we said them out, so stuff can go back. This should be down here as well. Um, but yeah, so that press is fine. This press is fine. This is the glass press. Now, this is a press that has created some discussion. Okay, let me turn you guys a bit better. Because, well, let me click. Now, can you guys see me okay? I hope you can see me okay. Anyway, in here, we have a lot of juice glasses. Now we have these type, we have these type, we have the, these type, we have these type, okay? So that's all the lovely, you know, let me show you. We've got that one, and we got these ones, and we got these ones. Now, the only one of them that is in fact a glass is this one. They were all candle holders. We went put a lot of work into to, you know, get the wax out of the whole lot. We've, there, there's more here, there's two more than there. And then we have these ones here that I brought from my other house. Now, what I like about the, now, for the record, I'm not telling you to throw your stuff on the floor. Don't throw glass on the floor. That's just silliness. But these Ikea glasses, um, you guys probably know them. If you've been to Ikea, like you have this one. You have this one, there's then the big huge, I have the big huge one as well, the big pint size one. Um, I like them, I've dropped these on the floor many a time. They don't break, they're fantastic, they don't break. I like things to be, you know, what's the word? Like, I like stuff that's the same, like simmer, keep simmer stuff together, you get me? We also have 46,000 egg cups for reasons, there's two of us in the house. Like. But this is a, in case anyone's wondering why there's so many glasses in here, this is why. I would like to reduce the number of juice glasses, because I don't really drink juice that often. Um, but I've been overruled, so if anyone's wondering why there's so many juice glasses, and they're all different and random, that is why. Because I remember in a previous video I did get a mesh, I don't know it was a comment or a mesh on Instagram saying, but someone said, did say that to me. Oh, you have a lot of like small glasses and they're all different and da 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 da. It annoys me as much as it annoys you. Trust me on that one. Well, how far are we now? What time are we? We're just nearly the ground. Right, I was hoping to get way more done today than I did, okay? I thought I'd get this done, I'd get that, i get this done, i get that done, i get that. That's not what happens, okay? I already know from what I filmed so far, this video is gonna to be too long, okay? So I'm gonna stop here. I'm gonna cut myself off here um, because I don't want the video to be an hour, okay? Because y'all won't watch it for an hour, so. And I know there are some of you who will, but majority of people don't wanna watch it for an hour. Anyway, so for right now, I'm gonna make a pile of all the declutter to show you guys of this up here. Clutter pile from up this part of the kitchen. Sorry, just bring this in so you guys can see it better. I think we got rid of a good bit of stuff today. And this is just the stuff from kind of the upper kitchen that we're getting rid of. And I'm really happy with that so far. And we also have all the boxes and everything in here and I need to find a home for this uh, money box but apart from that everything else in this box is going. And then in the next video, what you're gonna see is the lower presses and the junk press. Do you know what I'm gonna say that you're gonna see other, more parts of the kitchen. This kitchen is very big and it is ridiculously full of crap. But, you know, we've done this press today, which is something I have been saying to you guys for literal months that I was gonna do this. Um, and yes, it was anticlimactic. It was anticlimactic. Okay, she cute. Okay, it's cute, it's pretty, I love it, I like the little chip mugs, I like the little Mrs. Potts, but I thought, to be honest, I know, I knew how big the teapot was, but I think in my, in my head, it was, it took up a lot more room in this press. I think, I, I think that's what, I think that's what the problem was. But anyway, look, it didn't. We've done it anyway, it's done. This cupboard is finally rearranged. Does it look that different? Not really, but it's better. 
I prefer it. There's more room to kind of maneuver um, around here. Um, I like this little display, it's cute. Um, and there was also too much stuff in here. Because every time you were taking out a bowl, you were like clanging it off the thing. It was the whole thing, guys. It was the whole thing. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this video up for today. Um, we've been on a journey. We've been through a lot. But we've had a good time, I hope. Anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you found it satisfying. I hope you found it motivation. If nothing else, I just hope you enjoyed it. Um, as always, if you enjoyed my videos, hit the subscribe button down below to see more. Ring the bell to be notified. Every time there's a new video out, if you like today's video in particular, give me a thumbs up. And drop me a comment down below and I want you guys to let me know what do you think is the most difficult thing to deal with in the kitchen when you're decluttering. Is it the sentimental stuff? Is it throwing away expired food? Because I know food waste is a huge issue for a lot of people. I hate throwing away food, but sometimes it has to be done. Um, is it like your normal cutlery, dinnerware, delf, glasses, mugs, you know, storage containers, whatever. Let me know in the comments down below. As always, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. I hope you have a great weekend and a wonderful week ahead and I will talk to y'all soon. Okay, love y'all. Bye.